With these seven tips, you'll be a pro at hoop shoot in no time. At the start, by jump diving on the yellow curved part of the slide, you'll gain quite a bit of momentum and be in the front of the pack. This is slightly better than just jump diving on the flat part of the slide. The little difference is what separates first from second place, so anything helps. It doesn't matter what your FPS is, you could benefit from the small boost. This is great if you spawn near the sides on either the first or second row. Unfortunately, not so much on the third row since you're so far back. Currently, as of the making of this video, the top path is absolutely useless and just it's more of a trap in my opinion, and it should be avoided at all costs. It's slow and offers no real benefit in terms of points. Although since less people get on it, you won't get body blocks, so I guess there's one positive, but there's a reason why people don't take it, so the bottom path is always the best choice. In the middle of the map, you'll see two hoops with ramps, and if you don't do it properly, it could hold you back slightly. Approach the ramp, then jump into the hoop, and once you've gotten the point, dive onto the floor. Diving too early could cause you to halt and you'll need to kickstart the floor again, or you could hit the hoop itself and get ragged. Both side paths and the middle gives out 8 points, it just gives out the points differently. Both left and right slide has 2 gaps that you have to jump over which could slow you down slightly whereas the middle doesn't. The main benefit of the side path is, is that on the left side you can get the hoop that's on the funnel more easily, but it's possible to get the hoop that's near the end of the middle slide. The strangler is being the hoops on the ending portion of the map. If you choose to take the side path, the left side is where you should go. All you have to do is jump into the gold hoop and right when you're about to land, dive while holding forwards and you'll get it with ease. Ease. Getting the extra hoop while on the right side slide is really tough and I don't recommend you take that path. Out of the two slides, take the left one. And as for the middle slide, this requires some preparation. Once you've gotten to the second last hoop, jump dive and make your way to the yellow part of the slide and then jump dive to get a small boost and turn your character to where you're facing the hoop. And once you've land, jump dive forwards and you'll get it. This will require some practice, the part where you line yourself up after jumping on the yellow bit is the most important part. Once you've learned this, the side path is all but moot in my opinion. If you choose to ignore the extra hoops on the funnel, once you've jump dived on the final hoop, aim for the floor near the portal rather than the portal itself. If you jump dive directly into the portal, you'll ragdoll without a doubt. But if you land right before it, you'll never ragdoll. Unless you hit somebody on the way out of course, but that's a rare case. This refers to people who constantly jump dive while going down a slope and how they're seemingly able to get ahead of everyone. This isn't 360 diving, but rather splashing as I like to call it. And do correct me if I'm wrong on this, but you can only do this if you have 150 plus FPS and at least at the time of recording this video, this happens because the physics is FPS based, meaning the higher the frames you get, the more momentum you'll get. When you jump dive on the slope bits, if you don't have 150 frames, you won't go as far as someone who has 150 frames. Let's talk about what routes you should take, and there's two that I personally recommend. Both are fast, so it's a matter of preference. Those being what I call bottom middle and extra hoops, and simple bottom middle. For this, you'll take the bottom path at the start, and once you've reached the middle, go up the ramp jump into the hoop and dive after getting the point. Then proceed to the middle slide, line yourself up and jump dive once you're about to reach the yellow and make your way to the hoop. You'll need to jump dive on the floor in order to get it. Rinse and repeat on the second lap and if you did it correctly, the final hoop should be the end of the bottom slide. While this path is great and you'll finish right at the end of the bottom slide, I personally prefer the next one, which is, you go to the bottom slide, snag the middle hoop and you'll only need to get the middle hoop once. So I recommend doing this on the first lap, but you can do it on the second one if you like. Then go down the middle and once you've reached the end of the slide, jump dive and try to land on the floor right before the portal. This one is much easier to do if you're a beginner. Click this video right here for a guide I did on Kraken Slam. Thank you to our Max Tour members and click the join button and become a member today for ad free and early videos.